The LTK Distinguished Service Award was established in 1973 to honor one of the floral industry's finest leaders, Leland T. Kinsel. Lee was well known for his knowledge of the floral industry and for the energy and enthusiasm displayed towards his lifelong career. A tireless advocate for the floral industry, Lee supported WUFSA in many capacities, including three terms as president. During his tenure, Lee did a great deal to advance the association as well as the entire wholesale floral industry. It is in that spirit that we celebrate today. These four words are the cornerstones of the LTK Distinguished Service Award. Each recipient was chosen because they displayed these characteristics in a way that set them apart from their contemporaries. His grandfather moved to Philadelphia in 1910 and bought the property where the uh, general offices still are. It was a greenhouse and they would peddle flowers with a cart uh, down to the city. And that's how the company started, with a horse cart actually. Paul Zeger was born into the floral industry in 1940 in Philadelphia by parents Wilbur and Ruth Zeger. He was the youngest of three children and grew up in a house on the property of Zeger and Sons Incorporated, a wholesale florist which was started in 1910 by his grandfather, Ernst. Paul's work ethic was formed early on by witnessing his father's operation and by his mother's strong Lutheran upbringing. In 1958, Paul attended Muhlenberg College in Allentown, Pennsylvania, and earned his degree in physics. In the summer of 1962, he enrolled at the State University of New York to pursue his graduate degree in the same field. Uh, he did this for a couple of weeks and he said, you know, this really isn't what I want to do. And at the same time, uh, his father was opening a brand new branch up in Harrisburg and uh, said, you know, Paul, if you want to come home, there's something here, we need you. So uh, he came home and left graduate school. And on September 1st, 1962, at the age of 22, Paul was given a starting sales position at the Zeger & Sons Philadelphia location. Paul, always ready for new challenges, also took on the responsibility of fleet manager, overseeing the company's 25 trucks. He enrolled in night school for business, and if that wasn't enough, he also joined the Air Force Reserves. In 1965, Paul met Bonnie Razor, the daughter of one of Paul's florist accounts he was actively selling. Paul and Bonnie began dating, and two years later in 1967, Paul and Bonnie were married. Paul's father-in-law, Paul Razor, eventually joined Zeger and Sons as a sales manager and quickly became Paul's mentor in many aspects of his business and personal life. Paul was never one to let time go to waste, and by 1971, he found himself the proud father of sons Mark, Jeff, and Stephen. During the 1970s, Paul was expanding Zeger and Sons at a sustainable pace. Paul focused more on product and service than he did on selling on price or trying to buy the market. Paul grew his company in a fashion that was industry sound not for short-term personal gain. I think his, his scientific background is what makes his business mind like so interesting because he's very analytical in the way he approaches business and the industry. Paul's accomplishments during the 1980s are no less impressive. He became the Northeast Director of WUFSA, was chairman for the young executives of WUFSA, served as WUFSA treasurer, and worked his way up through the chairs in the WUFSA organization, including chair of the Atlanta Trade Fair, which at the time was the annual buying and networking event in the floral industry. 
Drawing back on his scientific and analytical background, Paul began to expand Zeger and Sons again, this time investing in a new technology called computing. He placed PCs on the desks of all his managers and salespeople. This introduced an online inventory and computer-generated pick slips at a time when many wholesalers were still changing typewriter ribbons. In 1988, Paul and Zeger and Sons joined the Americana Group, a co-op of non-competing wholesalers in which Zeger and Sons is still active today. Paul predicted the need for stronger buying power as smaller wholesalers were getting squeezed out of the floral market. Zeger and Sons and the Americana Group are still strong associates to this day. In the 1990s, Paul became president of Woofsa and brought his two sons, Mark and Stephen, into the family business. At the time, cold chain was a hot topic. Paul called to action the California growers in a Woofsa magazine column to do a better job with pre-cooling and cold chain shipping to East Coast wholesalers. This made a lot of California growers upset with Paul, but he was always more interested in improving the industry than being popular. In 2002, Zeger & Sons was completely reorganized through a stock swap of half the shares then held by the flower growing half of the family. He was able to manage the reorganization in a way that his family partners were treated fairly and eventually led to Zeger and Sons sustaining into the 21st century and eventually celebrating the company's 100th birthday. In 2010, Paul made his last brilliant business decision for Zeger and Sons and passed the role of president to his son, Stephen. Now, his two sons, Mark and Stephen, run the operation as the fourth generation of Zegers. Like most great business owners, Paul can't seem to stay away and still operates the IT for the company remotely from his PC as he travels the world with his wife, Bonnie, remains active in numerous Lutheran church affairs and enjoys his 10 grandchildren. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Paul Seeger.